but I didn't know who I was. I, how, how could I and how could any of us? Because for the first 25 years of our lives, we are trained to listen to voices that are not our own. The internal voice I needed to listen to was hardly audible and it was hardly noticeable, kind of like me in high school. Listen to that voice that tells you what you could do. Nothing will define your character more than that. Well, I left college because I knew exactly what I wanted uh, to do, and some of you know too, but some of you don't. Well, what you choose to do next is what we call in the movies the character-defining moment. Now, these are moments you're very familiar with, like Indiana Jones choosing mission over fear by jumping into a pile of snakes. Now, in a two-hour movie, you get a handful of character-defining moments, but in real life, you face them every day. Life is one strong, long string of character-defining moments. And I was lucky that at 18, I knew what I exactly wanted to do, but I didn't know who I was. I, how, how could I and how could any of us? Because for the first 25 years of our lives, we are trained to listen to voices that are not our own. Parents and professors fill our heads with wisdom and information, and then employers and mentors take their place and explain how this world really works. And usually these voices of authority make sense, but sometimes doubt starts to creep into our heads and into our hearts. And even when we think that's not quite how I see the world. It's kind of easier just to nod in agreement and go along, and for a while, I let that going along define my character. The internal voice I needed to listen to was hardly audible, and it was hardly noticeable, kind of like me in high school. But then I started paying more attention, and my intuition kicked in. And I want to be clear that your intuition is different from your conscience. They work in tandem, but here's the distinction. Your conscience shouts, here's what you should do, while your intuition whispers, here's what you could do. Listen to that voice that tells you what you could do. Nothing will define your character more than that. Because once I turned to my intuition and I tuned into it, heroes and villains are not literary constructs but they're at the heart of all history. And again, this is why it's so important to listen to your internal whisper. It's the same one that compelled Abraham Lincoln and Oscar Schindler to make the correct moral choices. In your defining moments, do not let your morals be swayed by convenience or expediency. Sticking to your character requires a lot of courage, and to be courageous, you're gonna need a lot of support. I spoke about the importance of intuition and how there's no greater voice to follow. That is until you meet the love of your life. And this is what happened when I met and married Kate. And that became the greatest character-defining moment of my life. Love, support, <laughs> courage, <laughs> intuition. All these things are in your hero's quiver, but still, a hero needs one more thing. A hero needs a villain to vanquish. And you're all in luck. <laughs> this world is full of monsters. And there's racism, homophobia, ethnic hatred, class hatred. There's political hatred, and there's religious hatred. Don't turn away from what's painful. Examine it. Challenge it. My job is to create a world that lasts two hours. Your job is to create a world that lasts forever. Captain Miller and Saving Private Ryan would say, earn this. Earn this. If you remember nothing else from today, I hope you remember this moment of human connection. And I hope you all had a lot of that over the past four years, because today you start down the path of becoming the generation on which the next generation stands. And I've imagined many possible futures in my films, but you will determine the actual future, and I hope that it's filled with justice and peace. And finally, I wish you all a true Hollywood-style happy ending. 
I hope you outrun the T-Rex, catch the criminal, and for your parents' sake, maybe every now and then, just like E.T., go home. <laughs> <laughs>